Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. How did we get back to this title screen? Well, I started a new save file, just so I could show you what the World 1 icon looks like, because I actually never showed that, did I? So yeah, when you go back to an earlier world on a newer save file, it resets the title screen back to the older version. That's how I was able to get it back to being an older version before. Just a little interesting fun fact for you, I thought. <laughs> Alright, 6 8. We begin King Bowser's Castle. And now we've got Kemek's Revenge Kemek coming at us from the background into the foreground like before. So, uh, we gotta be looking out for specific things, of course. Two flowers, three red coins. Got it? Good. So, as long as you get the red coin there and the one near the beginning and this one coming up at the top here, you will be golden. Because then there are... And there's your flower. If I can... There we go. <laughs> if I can grab that. There we go. And... Oh! You cheap shotter! <laughs> you son of... Oh, never mind. So at this point you want to check, do you have two of the flowers? Do you have three red coins? If you do, then hit that midpoint. <laughs> Guess you are good to go. Now at this point though, you got a little, you got a little something special. Unique to this level. <laughs> Four doors numbered one through four. The easiest one is by far number four, but I'd like to do all four doors, of course. But if you want to aim for a specific one, just go stand underneath it, hold an egg straight upwards, you know, like you're about to throw it, and track your eye on one of the doors as it's going around in a said circle. And when it's at the bottom, release your egg, and you'll be able to get said numbered door. I plan on doing them in numerical order, so door number one, begin! <laughs> Alright, so four is the easiest, three is second easiest, but I would say one and two are about equally as hard. Probably somewhere around there. That's some lava. Not that big of a deal. You can hide over here, have a good time. Got some sneaky blockades going on over here. We can just bypass that without any sort of issue. And now on each of these doors, there's the same amount of red coins, and there's the same amount of flowers. So that means by the end of it, you'll have the exact same amounts in total, no matter which door you take, so it's impossible to actually miss out on getting 100% if you should accidentally take a door that doesn't please you or something like that. Uh, so you could actually just restart the level and pick an easier door if, if it's not really working for you. And you'll eventually be able to get through this with the greatest of ease. As a result, this, this level is not really one of the hardest levels ever. <laughs> Uh, I can sneak through there now, I think. Yeah, just kind of go down here, look at that, and... Oh, 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 sneaky, sneaky, okay. And run, 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 Oh, shoot, that is... Wobbly, and I need to get up there. Can I get up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Red coins right around those parts. I gotta get this to go up nice and high so we can get up over here check your counters. Now, at the end of a door, you should have 15 red coins and 40 points worth of flowers. Look at that. So we are good to go moving on to the next area. Woo! How do we get back over here? That's not supposed to... Well, I might as well show the other doors then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so this time I'm going to be aiming for door number two, hopefully, maybe, might be. So let's check it with our eyes. Release! Yeah! Like a pro! <laughs> number two is for me and you! It's the Shy Guy Room of Doom! Well, maybe not entirely Shy Guys, if it's... <laughs> Okay, maybe it is entirely Shy Guys, who knows, who knows? Oh no, 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 this is bad. This is really awkward. This is incredibly awkward. <laughs> Okie dokie. This isn't the end of said room though, of course, but uh, we're just gonna kind of have to go down through here. This leads to a pipe, I think. Yeah, at least it implies that it leads through a pipe. And we got Pyro Guy hanging out down there. 
this, maybe you should go and uh, rush on ahead here. Oh, I keep forgetting to show here. If you ground pound, they, they will be stung and they will actually drop their, um, they will drop their bomb. Here, I'll get, I'll do it in a better spot here. Oh, that was terrible, horrible aim. <laughs> Come on, just show it once, PK Gamer. Just, just we get uh, that. What, what I can't, I, I'll, I will never be able to do it because of this moving platform, will I? Well, you can tell that as soon as I ground pound, yeah. Oh, there we go. I did it properly that time. Yeah, as soon as I ground pound, their other animation starts, and then we're able to actually see a said uh, animation happen. And now we gotta, we gotta do some shoot. Oh! How did I get hit by the seeds being shot out the other way? I was gonna. Say <laughs> Anyway, let's just eat this, and Baby Mario is completely being a pain here. That that pipe leads forward, so you don't want to go up there just yet when I grab that flower. That bandit's forever trapped within the realm of hot feet. <laughs> Alrighty. And now we're done with this, I suppose, except... Nope. <laughs> we actually got... Ye all squishy block. Make sure you get all the stuff. Um, I still need said key, of course, to make progress. So in we go to the upper door. And oh yeah, slime. It's back! <laughs> oh, you had to do the wiggles. You had to do the wiggles. <laughs> uh, just do the wiggles. There you go. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh, just lost my egg and it didn't really even do any damage. <laughs> Uh, a little, little bit of that. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, 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 that was a good one. That was a very good one. Uh, oh, I just want to wait until there we go. The what? Oh, no, no, no. Wiggles. Oh, I got him. Okay. I was on the very last egg there. <laughs> and victory! Woo! We got a key. And we are out of this door. So, again, before you go through last door, make sure you've got 15 and 40. 15 coins, 40 points worth of flowers, and also try refilling eggs before you go through the, the final door of an area too, that's a, it's kind of an important thing, just to make things easier in the next section. Believe you me. Oh come on, this game must be bugging me or something like that, that is just, that is not where the door is supposed to lead, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna aim for door number three this time, so check with your eyes, shoot, voila! <laughs> and this one, this one's pretty entertaining here. Get all these red coins right off the bat here, of course, but hit this and it says, RUN AWAY! <laughs> yeah, there's no danger here, although it does look like a face with that background design. Oh god! Oh god! What is this? What is- No, 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 you, you should not be here. No, 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 what the, what, what? And there should be boss music. At least it would be on the SNES version. I guess it's not here. It goes into deep, dark sound instead of boss music. <laughs> so yeah, we got a golden tap-tap going on there. And he's, he's, been, he's been transformed. He's pretty big. And we gotta keep fending him away while uh, keeping our eggs for stuff. Let's just put it that way. And it's also, it's pretty handy to get him like in the pits and stuff like that because he won't jump out of them until he's off screen. <laughs> so it's just kind of kind of messes with his timing and whatnot. Hey, okay, how's it going? <laughs> it's not that difficult of a door or anything like that, but it it does scare you with that whole uh, message box there at the beginning. <laughs> hey, hey, down the hole you go. <laughs> Uh, maybe he'll jump out of it now, and you'll be able to see him jump out of that, but for the most part, I'm, yeah, up there he goes. <laughs> I'm just messing with him here. Although I should probably save my eggs a little bit, a little bit better here than I am already. And you notice know, so that whenever he stops moving, he does that jump, so... Yeah. You don't have to worry about any red coins along the way, I believe, as I don't, I don't think there's any red coins on the whole path to there. You just have to get two flowers, and then the rest of the red coins will be in a room directly after. Whoops! <laughs> My fault, I was not watching him close enough. So yeah, the red coins will be in like a little tiny prize room with two shot guys you just eat, and then you'll be able to get 
said prizes with ease. And, oh! I don't think so! <laughs> it's all silly. So yeah, it, it, it makes you feel like there's a lot of pressure on you, because it's like an endurance test of sorts, but it's really not all that hard. I mean, look at all this, this time that I've got here just waiting for him to come back, basically. <laughs> We're okay. We are okay. Maybe there is some pressure, at least on those downward slope areas where you can jump very far and potentially onto your head. Now, we are done. <laughs> So here's the two, this two shy guy room that I was talking about. Eat them up, grab those red coins, check your total, make sure that you are 15 and 40 like usual, and then head in through this door. Ah, figures that the game would take me back over here one last time to show you all four doors just because... Normally I wouldn't do this, I swear to you, it, it shouldn't do that to you, but it, it's doing it to me just so I can show you all these doors, I guess. So here we go, door number four. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and this is the easiest one. Why is it the easiest one? Oh, the bonus room! It's, it's Bowser's treasury! Woo! Or something! <laughs> None of those coins are red coins or anything like that. All red coins and flowers are at the very ends and beginnings of uh, this particular room. If you want to, you can go and grab all these coins as this incredibly jittery room in the GBA version it lets you collect them all if you would really like to, but you know, you don't, you don't have to. It's just, this room is here just as a bonus for getting the easiest room in the house, like, I guess. Even though if you don't know how to aim for said doors, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's like roulette or something. <laughs> Alright, I got everything cleared out now. We are golden, <laughs> just like the coins. And now we can go through, wait, wait, actually before, always make sure to check. <laughs> Now nah, you can't even miss them this time. But yeah, 15 and 40 is what you're looking for. Now we can go through here. Alright, all the doors are complete. <laughs> so basically the end door of all those rooms leads over to here always. And Kemek is over here spewing his magic. And if he hits one of the blocks with the magic, it'll turn into random things from stars to enemies and all sorts of goodies and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty interesting really. Whoops! Pretty whoop, unique element and whatnot. I'd like to eat that if you don't mind. There we go. And so, obviously, the last five coins, as well as the uh, final flower, is around here somewhere. You can just keep messing around with Kemek like this all day long if you'd like to, just to kind of, kind of make him go away. <laughs> an auto scrolled area, so it's just, it's just a matter of stalling out until you have a victory, I suppose. Because it's not very hard to reach said coins or anything like that or anything, but there are, as you can tell, bottomless pits that Kemet can make by erasing the blocks, or actually transforming the blocks into something, anything that can create bottomless pits, but if you just keep messing with Kemek like this, it is no big deal whatsoever, and as you can tell, these coins are pretty easily accessible if you just jump up to where they are on one of the high block spots. Whoa, that was almost a hit. Give me that star, please. Thank you, that would be lovely. <laughs> uh, in fact, that was lovely, and I'll just use my eggs to get these remaining coins and flower up there. See that? Now we are at max of everything. Check it out. Check it out! <laughs> but before you hit that midpoint, just make sure that you don't lose your health. Because any sort of cheap shots or anything like that, so I'm going to hit it there and it'll make everything pop. And then Chemex done. <laughs> Kemek has given up because there's no more high places for him to hang out at. <laughs> and now you got this incredibly ominous door right here. It's big, it's bad, it's red. That just, none of those signs. None of sound. Uh oh. Welcome, Yoshi. Be so kind. Please hand over the baby! Oh, 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 the sound effects are a little different in the GBA version, by the way. Oh dear, what do you want to go mess with Bowser Wax? Mac, it's too noisy in here. I want to go sweepy fly! 
<laughs> Baby Bowser's got a ground pound. <laughs> huh? Hmm? What kind of green doggy is that? Looks like fun. You wanna ride? Mine! Mine! And the battle begins! So he does these shockwaves on the ground here. It's. Yeah, that would hurt you. It would knock the baby right off your back. And you think, yeah, maybe you'll jump on him. No. <laughs> oh no! Maybe we'll maybe we'll ground pound him. No, it's it's fruitless. Maybe we'll egg him. Oh no, the eggs! The eggs, they are useless! Although you can use them to recover your stars by bouncing them off of things, of course. And uh, yeah, and so what do we gotta do? We gotta create shockwaves of our own! <laughs> I love that. It's unique to this room here. So, uh, oh, 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 shoot! You jumped up too quickly there. That's okay. Oh, you avoided my bump. <laughs> my bump on the ground missed him. All right, one more hit. Ought to do. Yeah, victory! Oh, and if he lands on your back doing that ground pound, he'll switch places with Baby Mario and ride on Yoshi's back. <laughs> so Baby Mario will go in a bubble. Yoshi, how could you do this? Young master, let me help you. Oh no! Oh no, Kamek! No! No, 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 no! Bad idea! Humongously, tremendously bad idea like you wouldn't believe! <laughs> Kamek! What have you done? What? No! Everything's crumbling! Oh no! This can't be good! Oh jeez, Yoshi's looking in the background! Who could it be? I'm back to- Oh no! <laughs> they couldn't have made a more epic final boss in this game if they tried, I think. <laughs> we got rock music going on. Chain chomp like rocks, gonna destroy the ground, creating bottomless pits. We gotta get these big eggs here and throw them at him in the background. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to get the hang of the angles of your throws, because this is another unique element. Just like the Baby Bowser rock the ground boss fight, and I'm just gonna kind of bounce back between the sides. Oh yeah, if you shoot them directly up as high as you can, you'll knock something out of the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> like that Tony. Sometimes you'll get coins and other sorts of goodies and stuff like that. Let's see what we can get out of that, just for the fun of it. Oh, there goes another Tony! <laughs> Uh, I'm not really getting any prizes out of it, I'm just getting some funny toady knocks, but I, I suppose that in itself is a prize. And as you see, Bowser's got a cursor of his own, like he's throwing eggs at us, but it's really just his fireballs of death, which we cannot lap up and turn into stars or anything like that, so... Anyway, you'll notice that he just keeps getting closer, and eventually, if he gets too close, he'll just destroy all the platforms, and it's instant death. So you gotta keep him away for as long as possible, I should say, to the very end, because he is not going to give you any ground otherwise. And to keep him away, throw eggs at him! <laughs> You'll notice it knocks him back when he hits him! Uh, but, well, it's just a matter of being patient more than anything until the last couple of hits and stuff like that, because the last couple of hits gonna be... Gonna be have to be pretty speedy. Let's just put it that way. That's that's too low of an egg. <laughs> way too low of an egg. Uh, that's pretty good there. I think it's gonna hit him. Oh, it was a little bit too low. What a disgrace to my egg throwing abilities. <laughs> and he always seems to do three fireballs at a time though, so it's rather predictable as to when you're able to throw your egg or whatnot. After a few hits, here comes the rocks again. Stand over here, it's nice and safe, I assure you. <laughs> now we don't have very much to stand on at all, so you better have your hover jumps mastered to the extreme when you're trying to go back and spawn an egg on the sides of the screen by moving the screen left and right, and yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, this is not looking good, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's looking a little scary there, Bowser. You're gonna have to, have to push your back there a little bit. And, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wait. Uh, that might be too high. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's perfect! That's the end! <laughs> <laughs> Did it without taking a, si a single hit. That is fantastic. <laughs> 
It's a pretty tricky boss to get the hang of, but definitely doable. A little graphical glitch going on there with the platform there for whatever reason. How dare you! It's not fair! You're such a big meanie! Someday, we'll be back! You'll see! And they're gone! To the moon! <laughs> Team Rocket's blasting off again. And there we go! The Stark and the baby have been found! Well, you know, specifically Baby Luigi. We found another baby early on in the game. That was Baby Mario. <laughs> and we get a little ending dialogue. Thus, due to the marvelous teamwork of the Yoshi clan, the brothers are reunited! Yoshi frees the captured Stork, who sets about his duty and finally makes the long-awaited delivery. Thanks, Yoshi. The brothers will meet their parents soon. Unless Kamek goes and messes them up again. <laughs> yes! <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. 100%. <laughs> Spectacular! And you get this little result screen. Oh yeah, extra six has been opened. Oh, and I keep forgetting to mention on the like the bonus ones, it'll say O P E E E E N E D or something like that. You know, it, it's it's a E instead of a N. <laughs> so it's it's a typo that I keep forgetting to to point out. But yeah, they actually made a typo. <laughs> I guess I'm just so used to seeing it that I never really made much of it. And here is the long trek through World 6 that we took through all those levels. The super long cave, that just auto-scrolling pretzel. And, <laughs> and... World 6 has been marked with Yoshi scent. Wait, what? And there goes the stork. Off to deliver the babies. And here are the credits. Oh yeah, this is quite a bit smoother in the SNES version, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't make the game, these awesome people did. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. And there's also a little extra thing that you can do on the, the Bowser fight, um, but it's really hard to time. If you should deliver Bowser's final hit, while well, there's no ground underneath you, you know, like if Bowser destroyed all the ground by getting too close, Yoshi will just fall to his doom in the cutscene, and the game will kind of soft lock. <laughs> so they, they didn't really intend that to happen or anything like that. It's just something that can happen, even though it's kind of a very low chance of it happening, and it's pretty hard to time. So. <laughs> Then you'd end up having to replay the, the level is yeah. So let's let's not go down that route or anything like that. Let's just clear the level and all of its doors. Well, you, you only need to do one of the door to get 100 percent but yeah, we're gonna do all those doors anyway, just to show you in case you don't know how to I mean just to say if you don't have the timing to pick whichever door you please. And then you'll be able to get through them all with ease. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, as of this point, um, spoiler alert as to how the production of my video went, <laughs> the, uh, I only did the first door in this run, like, up to this point, and then I'll be doing the other couple of doors after this, and then editing them in with the doors, you know, like the black screen transitions, and be like, hey, how do we get back over here? That's that's not supposed to happen, you know, that's some, that, that sort of joke. But you probably already seen that at this point. <laughs> I'm just explaining how I planned this all out so you could see all the doors in a nice order and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> it was it was interesting trying to figure out how I wanted to do this final level because of that, that four-door split path type thing. And, yeah. But it was fun! It was fun figuring out. <laughs> Just trying to figure out the best possible way. There'll probably be some, like, audio changes between door transitions or whatnot that'll be sort of kind of obvious, because I can't mess with that. Because <laughs> you can tell an audio loop or an audio cut with ease, so... <laughs> but I, I think the effect will be funny enough. 
Looks like they have reached the land where mom and dad live. So it's like a little mountain village type area, a la Twilight Princess. <laughs> Kakariko, I should say. <clears throat> and the babies are on their way home. That's really slow. <laughs> and also not very smooth. A lot smoother on the SNES version, but eh, as I said, eh, it doesn't really matter that much. But the game is all about the levels, after all. <laughs> and... The lights... They turn on. Black screen transition. The babies have made it! I repeat, the babies have made it! Our heroes are born! Well, technically, but they've been born for a while now, but... Details. <laughs> the end! Oh yeah! Can I get out of the screen, though? With my pressing buttons? Maybe. I might have to reset the console, but it will save, I do believe, after, as soon as it hits the credits, you know, to your score and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I am forever stuck here. <laughs> At least, uh, uh, yeah, let's just see if I can get myself a little, little cutscene going on here of said other level opening up, if, if you don't mind, before I end off the part, after all. So, let's just go ahead and reopen that save file, and there's our title screen back again. Clear icon, baby! World 6 at- oh, okay, now it, it didn't really show me a cutscene of 6 extra opening. But anyway, after beating the game, we've also unlocked 6 more secret levels on all of the worlds, for a perfect score on each world of 1,000. So yeah, we've got seven more levels to do. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to them. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I begin such levels of doom.